Okay, chat, I'm back. Uh, all right, so I don't know where that lady went. I was gonna talk to her too. Tap X for a guide for your objective. Huh. It's kind of cool. She dead? Talk to this lady. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Yulia. She was a good woman. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here, with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule, or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, anything I there's can really do. just one thing you can do. Get me that Sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric comfort and scratching his eyes out. That's pretty dangerous, but I'm just going to say I'll, <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How'd you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke, and the streets were a full of people A lot of these people, people saw the other. fire. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not mm. far from here. It's all right. Say what you will about this place, at least my fornicating husband will never find me. <laughs> and while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Why are you working oh, out of a shrine? This shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Hmm. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good too. 
until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. Find a way a into the palace. In the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed, and he's in constant pain. Who? I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. <clears throat> and I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. <coughs> but nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Uh, I'll see what I can Thanks, do. I suppose. Can we talk about sure what do you Julia? want to know do you think she was poisoned or was it self-inflicted do you really want to know i mean if somebody poisoned her then surely they would have broken the golden rule and so maybe discuss it but you know what poisoned Hemlock, her i believe is there any reason that she might have wanted to die i haven't seen her in months She's not allowed to leave Maliolas' villa, and they are quite secretive. I mean, that sounds like a reason right there. Not being able to leave him if he's Gladly. as bad as some people say. Well, come back if you get sick or injured, day or night. Okay. He seems helpful. Statue of Apollo. Roman and Greek god of disease and healing, among other things. Whoa. There's stuff over here. Herbrac? Herbrac? Mortar and pestle? Medical tools? May Apollo keep you safe. No items? Medical tools? Okay, what objectives? Wow, we have a lot now already. <laughs> uh, a lot of them is figure out and reach Navi in the palace. Let's do a dying gas, I guess. The guy did give me a right to kind of do whatever I want. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the empire. Daisius. Daisius. Shame what happened to you here, but we just have to carry on, don't we? What's your story? How did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Zero. Right. Well, you see. I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies of Rome. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society. Have myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by a barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, a pretty young thing named a camphor, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it, and I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin, so I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. I dropped the girl and kept the cart. He's gonna say that. You chose the girl, right? The girl? Weren't you listening? All my valuables <laughs> or the girl. 
I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl, if I still have my money. So I put me hand on the car, and I guess you realise what was happening, because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the Tiber. Oof. I think I see where this is Naturally, going. I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank, not far from here. Not far from here. World, but a single silver coin. Miseration sounds like you got what you deserved. I couldn't agree more. I mean, sure, I'd lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back, and this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you. There must be more <laughs> gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. Uh, who are you going Maliotis. to vote for? I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Like you to vote for Sentius. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> okay. I need some Certainly. resin. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. Sir. I don't think anybody has that money in here. How would I come up with a thousand denarii? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard, and save your <laughs> coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? We don't have five years. You're his price gouging over life saving medicine. What is wrong with you? Oh, it's perfectly legal. It's simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. I'm going to tell him that you weren't. Did you, you hear that? A whisper? Uh, are you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. You don't want another. Well, she claimed the statues were whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and we never heard from her again. But I digress. Do you want this silf? Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. He said, take it and run. Is that what you want? If not, hand them over now. Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see one? <laughs> nice. I don't have Very that well. kind of money. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? <sighs> you know a way out of here? I'll be going. Very well. I'll be going now. Another Damn, we failed to, uh... We failed to convince him. As of Ares. Things to buy once I've escaped. <laughs> Two horse chariot. Whose list is this? Essius? Wait, it's moving. The head moved. The head is moving. Sir. Is your head moving too? Oh my god, it is. I'm over here now. Come on. Look over here. Over here. Over here. Right here. Ha ha ha. Uh, it does the thing where if you look away I'm behind you now <laughs> Wait both of them follow you yeah, they do Hello.
whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. Ah, oh, back at you know, there's uh, it's terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. Okay, all right, so honestly. Oh, well, technically, yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Thank you, friend. I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but some people here are a little shady for my... Very well. Okay. Uh, funny they all follow you whoa what the heck help you have to do something what a man arrived in the baths a real nasty sort with his face all covered up and he's got a weapon you have to do something or he's gonna break the golden rule uh get right on it ow None actually do the magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm so now this man's bow is the only one in the city. Oh, of course. You just have to improvise. Let's get right Thank on it. You. He's I have to hide. Hear what? What? We don't have time for this. I Ugh. Oh god. Which way is he? The shrine is collapsing. Oh. Oh no. No. I'll take her loaf of bread. Fabia, no. No. Oh god, she's dead. Did anyone see that? The whole shrine just collapsed on her. What happened? Oh, Fabia, why did you have to go in there? Poor sweet girl. What the heck? Shrine may collapse at any moment? What? Why didn't she read the sign? There was a sign that said the shrine may collapse at any moment. I need your help. With what? What do you need my help with? Tell me. Roman baths. Man with the bow. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Uh, no, I don't know what Quinctius I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quinctius for terrible crimes against the Empire. So, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to live. But if you lie to me or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Yeah, got it. Thank you. Now tell me, who are you people, and what is this place? Uh, small community of strangers who helped wound up here by accident. Then you put that bow down and come in and see for yourself. A small community. <laughs> I was told Quinctius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. What's a mystery cult? You say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? <clears throat> We're not keeping it a secret. We're all trapped in here. So you admit you're not allowed to leave. Well, yes. It's not that we're allowed to leave. We physically can't leave. There's no way out. 
threatening me is not going to help you. <laughs> but in any case, that sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. Dude, I and wish. I saw the inscription saying, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? Yes, because it's true. It's a warning. Uh, a distinction without a difference. You've clearly been indoctrinated into this nonsense. <laughs> you know, it does sound like a now, cult now that, me, me, now that where we're did saying you lot get enough gold to make all these statues. They were once people who turned to gold as punishment. You lot are practicing human sacrifice too. <laughs> you people disgust me. We didn't turn them to gold, a god did it, and we don't know. Which one? Of course you'd say that, but that's what your kind do, isn't it? Our god told us to do it. It's all clear to me now. The secret sanctuary, the indoctrination, the mantra, the human sacrifice. You're cultists, <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such zeal. They just can't see what they've become. However, you still have a chance to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Do not waste it. I have no idea who or where he is. What can you tell me about Quintius? What is going to take you? What's it going to take you for, for you to let this go? Gold, take all the gold you want. Wouldn't help you even if I knew who he was. What can you tell me about? Very him? well. Here's what I know. He's a 40 to 50 year old man with distinctive eyes, one green and one blue. He's also known to have delusions of grandeur. The Emperor says he and his cult, your cult, are responsible for starting the fire which burnt half of Rome to the ground and killed thousands in the process. Huh. Perhaps the Emperor was looking for a scapegoat. Who are you to challenge what the Emperor says? Were you there? Do you have spies and scouts all over Rome, like he does? No, you do not. This is your last chance. Are you going to tell me where he is or not? I have no idea where, who, or where he is. <sighs> then you're of no use to me. Do you have any last words? I'm not a cultist. You said you wouldn't kill me if I told you the truth. Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. If you fire that arrow, everyone here is going to die. You have no idea what you're doing, what you're in for. Do you? You said you wouldn't kill me if I told you the truth. And there's a simple explanation for that. I lied. But if oh. you want to know the truth before you die, here it is. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Ah! I just got here. Ah. Ah. Run. No. Oof. Breaking the golden rule isn't the end and it's possible to survive if you follow the magistrate. Continue from last save. Oh. <laughs> oh no, we have to go through all this again? No, she's gonna go to the thing. Wait, what happens if I read that first before she goes there? Give me a loaf of bread. Oh my god, did it just I walked I walked in on it as it was collapsing, so it collapsed on me. Oh my
Wait, who is that? Who's this guy? Hey, Virgil. How much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Dacius, I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. But how am I going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon? There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. Virgil, I know who you are and what you want. Turn away from this past before we all suffer for your sins. This area is private. Please leave. Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry. Okay, can I talk to you now? Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. You arrived on a sad day, friend. What with Julia's death? I wish we could have met under better circumstances. What's your story? Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. Oh. But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. Ah, uh, tell me about the city's history. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago, which means, but there's one thing that puzzles me. The well, yes, or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived, which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? If only there was a way we mm. could talk to the people who came here before us. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the aqueduct. There it a... Hey, not so loud. Just talking about that could anger the... I'm not saying it's impossible. But you'd have to find a way inside somehow. Just... Figure out how to get into the upper cistern. Okay. You mean the great temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it, unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. So hmm. we're all left wondering which god unless somebody figures out a way in some... Of course. Ah, uh, No way out of here. You wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But there are much worse places to live out your days. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything... Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe, far to the north in Novio Magus, and learned to expect a bit of... They weren't nearly as tolerant as... Do you think about the Golden Rule? Some people say it's divine, the work of a god, but I'm not so sure. It just seems so... flawed to me. I mean... Once you've been here long enough, you'll notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. But this so-called God doesn't seem to... Which means one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown God doesn't. And I'm pretty sure. Uh... Think so? Good. Then I hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. I hear you. Can you remove a god from power? I'm glad. It's best if I say no more, but... I hope you'll 
give it some thought. That's the graffiti. Why does someone think you're Look, a sinner? I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. Ah. Like hey, men. nothing gets by you, huh? <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. Yes, I like men. And when you grow oh, okay. up in the north as I did in the city of Novio Magos, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for, what was it, nearly 10 years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an <laughs> assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. Sorry to hear that. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. You know uh, who's writing it. It's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my oh. type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Cultists? Strange bunch. They insist there's only one god, and considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. Let me look into it. What? Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so what are we gonna do when we go back and we're gonna be like here's a list of all I'd these people that could potentially the break are. the rule or maybe ask around among the merchants here someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something but if you find them please don't hurt or humiliate them I suspect they're just confused Let's see what I can do what are well, you going to vote for? Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you... Nice to talk to you. Seems like a cool guy. Let me save real quick. Ah, oh, I was gonna try to go up there. What? We don't have time for this. Here she goes. The shrine is collapsed. No, it collapsed. Fabiano, Fabiano, oh she's dead. Did anyone see that? The whole train just collapsed on her. Oh, Fabian, why Give did me you have your to go loaf of bread? Poor sweet girl. I can't believe she is dead. Fabia, I mean. She walked into that empty shrine, and the next moment she is lying dead under a pile of rubble. The gods are cruel and unjust. She was like a daughter to me. I'm sorry, friend. It's not right for me to lay my burden upon you. Just like that. I can't believe she is the god. Okay. Let's try going to 
the sky again. Stop. I mean, I can try to choose different. I'm not sure. Is that thing? Oh, how very welcoming of you. You want me to let my guard <laughs> down. Is that it? I was told Quintius was a cult. Wait, what's a oh, mystery call? Coy with me. I don't care if you're worshipping Bacchus, Magna Mater, or Christ. You lot are all always sneaking off to your seat. The you say. Still looking so for a way out. You're not allowed to leave. Threatening me is not going to help you. That sounds. Uh, and I saw. Because it's a true. You've clearly been indoctrinated. Now, you lot of. Didn't turn them to God. I. Uh, which one did I say? Of course you'd say. It's all. What? How? Very. What can you tell me? And then I said this. <laughs> and I said, I have no idea who you are, who or where he is. <sighs> Do you have any last words? Uh, you fire that everyone, arrow, everyone here is going to die. Well, I'd say that's rather convenient since I was planning. The many shall suffer now for run. the sins of the one. Oh God. I'm running. No. Oh. Oh. I got shot. Run. Wait, that's him. Mural. So what happens? Go through the portal again. It brings me back here. Follow Sentius back to the shrine and use his portal again. Looper, loop through time once. Oh uh, god. Salve, friend. <laughs> and we've had this conversation before. Your name is Glarus, and you're here to offer me to see Sentius so that he can tell me about the golden rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. That would have been help helpful the first time. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, and if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. But don't worry. It's... All right. Thanks, I'll be going. Okay, so do we still have all of our stuff? Yeah, we do. Huh. So if you make it back, it's not the end anyways. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops Salve. of water. And the tree you grasp just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world. So tired. So this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. What's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some the house. I have no idea what that they means. They never did. You know way there out of here. There is only a downward path. Gloomy with fatal yew trees. You need help. Help me. You cannot help. It is better for you if you remain. I forgot why Nivia is acting strangely. The bloodless shadow. Right. The new. Okay. Talks and riddles. Got it. Do we have a map of the area? Figure out how to get that. Figure out how to make the drop of it. The election find a way into the palace 
Uh, figure out treatment. Do we have a, I don't think we have a map. I guess not. So what happens if we go this way? Where does this take us? Oh, hello, people. Ah, it's all up to me. Old scroll. A uh, summary which author makes the case against the existence of the old rule. Or the golden rule. Take. I won't get in trouble for taking it, will I? Wait, I wonder if that guy's frozen now. Wait, there's somebody imprisoned right there. I'll, I'll go see them in a minute. Wait, she's alive. You have to do stuff. A man arrived and you have to do. Uh, the idea who's threatening Virgil. Are you serious? This is a, are you going to help? <laughs> How's this my problem? Just callous. If you don't stop. Just callous. <gasps> no, don't run there. Not again. The shrine is collapsing. Oh, allow Fabia to die in the collapsing temple. Rip. Fabia, no. Or Fabia. Oh God, she's dead. Did anyone see that? The whole shrine just collapsed on her. Oh, Fabia, why did you have to go in there? Poor sweet girl. Whoops. One second, chat. Clicked on something. Phase. Greek statue of a woman. Wait a minute. What did I just find? What did I just find? Someone has been through here recently. Let me save real quick. That's loading. New area? I was like, there's no way there's like nothing back here. Discover what lies beneath the city. Ah, a visitor. Hello, stranger. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? Uh, I'm Cassis. It's a sincere pleasure to meet you. Tell me, what brings you all the way down here? Uh, I found this place by accident. Then perhaps the fates brought you here to learn the secrets of this place. I will tell you everything sure. I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody astute. I'm hoping that person is you. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? Oh, oh boy. Not yet. Hmm. You have much to learn. It's best if you figure it out on your own. Oh no. Come back once you've made progress. 
really like you to tell me. Then you should speak with your contemporaries in the city above. Ask them about their stories and see if you detect a pattern of some sort. It is best if you come to this realization for yourself. You would never believe me if I told you. Okay. So let me guess, this is like probably like an end game area. <laughs> what happens? Oh, this is just lead me back this way. Yeah, I think so. I think I have to go back up. Yep. Well, that's cool. Now we know. Basically, come back here once you might know who created the golden rule. Goddess of whom this temple is dedicated, perhaps her local, local Greek resident knows more about her. Huh. Who's hello? this guy? Uh, hello? Hello, what's your story? My name's Dooley. I live here now because I got in trouble and they... They said they had to lock me up. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was... Looking for treasure. Somebody think you were going to steal. Yes. But I wasn't. I was just looking. Is that all? I said I did it. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called They called me a liar, Billy. Liability? Yes. They said I have to live here now, and gave me this letter. But I'm not good with words. Do you? Sure. Oh man, he was locked up for preventing him from trespassing. Are any in relation to your inquiry, uh, any social behavior arising from the upset and any social be behavior Rising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure while I'm sympathetic to your plight and passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago I wish to impress upon you an important message the treasure you seek does not exist Your liabilities community must have your freedom limited Lest you break the golden rule it is my hope that this letter will assist you to remember you are incarcerated should you experience further memory lapse what does it say? The lapse of memory. As you were caught trespassing several several times, they locked you up to stop uh, you from breaking the golden rule. My treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always he said if anything ever happened to him, he gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius and Ek. Hannibal s s said I sh shouldn't give it to Ek. Galerius Let me talk to the magistrate to get you out. We can give that a shot. He said the magistrate wouldn't. Maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. Like, Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. See what I can do. You're going to let me out? Well, I could try. Let me talk to the magistrate about getting Galerius. you out of here. Like Hannibal. 
Uh, let's talk about your treasure. He gave all now. Okay. Wait, there's a letter. I did not do it, Dolly. <laughs> What is up here? I like how, m how much exploration there is here. Pretty cool. Darius. Go down here. Huh. Another wooden carving. I think it might be religious in nature. It's the Jesus fish, I think. Loaf of bread. go down this way first he's running oh money a bottle of wine let's save again They were fighting. Ooh, arrows. Huh. <gasps> Creeper vines, if only they could s support my weight. Can't get up there now. This place is called Accursed. Uh, here offers his innards to be torn, stretched out over nine fields. Two, Antilus cannot catch the drops of water. Will the shadow wander without flesh or bone? Huh. Is this like her area that she was at then, I guess? That's why this lady handsome oh oh hello there oh you're here i'm so glad you decided to visit i'm aurelia and uh, i hope i'm not being too forward but the moment i laid eyes on you i was intrigued there's a light in your eyes i've never seen before a certain learning and sophistication You're as charming as you are beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? Whoa! What? I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. Me so, talk or get rejected. What brings you to my <laughs> tavern? Okay. What's your story? Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. I'm not asking that. What? 
No way out of here. You know, normally I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. Oh my god. I was asking about the city. I guess that went right over your head. Never mind. As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it. I'm so confused. It, but there's this there's is no right valuable answer. valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? What? Tell me more about what I'd be buying. If I, if I, why haven't you used it yourself? Is it kind of unethical to keep all these people trapped in here knowing there's a way out? I think of it this way. I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not... You have a way out? Why haven't you used it? It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. If I took your money without giving you what I promised... I'd be breaking the golden rule, wouldn't I? And I have no in. What's the ma well? Perhaps you could take out a loan. I under. I just try not to think about it. Drink. Certainly. Sure. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just. Now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering not. Whatever you like. All right. Okay. <laughs> See you. Cyrus lifts his triple head. Let the buyer beware. And out his threefold praying. You're that. Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. Ooh. This again. Key You're to her chest. Own, aren't you? Well, what happens? I'm gonna save right here and see what happens. The many shall suffer for the sins of the oh, one. Oh God! Oh God! Ah! I'm running! I'm running! Hurry up! Hurry up, Sentius! Hurry up! Go, go, go! Open the portal! Thank you! Damn, that is his body. So you pretty much have to break the golden rule. Uh, uh we've had uh, this conversation before. Uh, Problem see Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Again. It's your story. Well, it's a long one and kind of. No time. I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum. So with my parents. If we my keep sisters, what we took. Then One that day, means I have 2,000 denarii My father now. and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after and things went downhill from there I took over the farmstead but I was young it was a struggle more raiding started before too long we'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing one night when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal I got my father's old axe pulled the door open real quick and before that soldier knew it split his face right down the middle yeah. there were more of them 
I never saw how many. As the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before boot. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways. Romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking up. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beat. I got swept up with them somehow. Next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. That's what I thought. See, I finally had my own farm again. Safe until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits from us. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then... So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the Legion thugs. But don't you worry. Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, <laughs> will you? I get... Sure. Thanks, friend. Anyway, that's enough of me. Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here... Uh, Scintilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be... If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But... What do you think about the Golden oh, Rule? I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means. Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sent... Even I could do a better job. Me? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows oh, this Sentius is hilarious. Is but from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on it. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot <laughs> about freedom. So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. Guess we'll have to wait and see whether Maliolus frees him or not. Why is Dooley in his cell? Because Sentius put him there. Poor Dooley was just... Oh, it's nonsense, of course. Gladly. All right. now. Okay. Lots of good information. Uh, let me check my inventory. So now we have a lot of money. Flashlight. Tablet. What's the, um... We have the key to our chest. Didn't we have our diary or something? Better from Sentius to Dulius. Okay. So basically we're we are free to break rules. What if has been torturous? Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold graying. Livia. Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. But it's crazy how they're all just ignorant. like here. Listen, you're in a world of your own, aren't you? 